Jeez. Man, it is amazing. Uh, the day after I shaved my head, um, just how loose my hat is. I mean, there's not much up there. But I mean, w what is up there makes makes the hat nice and snug. Now this thing just feels like it's spinning around. Hello. <laughs> um, also clipped my nails last night. And toes. Getting ready for uh, a jujitsu roll tomorrow afternoon. So again, don't want to be that guy. <laughs> it's never a good thing. 167 days of running. Um, I looked up, <laughs> I had to Google it just to make sure it was day number 167. I was like, could you imagine if I, I recently messed up and it, it was like, you know, day 168 or day 166 or 167. It's officially 167 and there is 198 days remaining of the year. Getting closer to getting over the hump. Um, on the treadmill, I, ooh, I think I figured out a title for my short. I'm hoping, hoping that this weekend, oh, I didn't get any of my cards out. Charcuterie board, Father's Day. Um, BrentEvans.net, I put all that stuff on BrentEvans.net. I have a couple shorts up there. And uh, last night I was, I was scribbling down uh, a couple different names. And this morning, one came to me. I think I got it. So I'm hoping to wrap this thing up and, and hopefully post it this weekend. Um, okay, back to running. I was uh, listening to Ryan Holiday, a goat, and um, he has a uh, podcast, the Daily Stoic Podcast, and he had a runner on, and they were talking about what they listen to when they run. And um, Holiday says that he, he can't do podcasts, he can't do audiobooks. Uh, the other guy, he, um, he doesn't listen to anything. Back to Holiday. Um, he does say that he picks a song and he'll listen to that one song on repeat. It's also a style of his when he writes. He'll pick a song and just listen to the same song over and over again as he writes. Um, I've never done that before. I, I have my, my playlist, so I, I you know, <laughs> the, the first couple definitely helped kick things off. I got a couple others coming up that help, you know, kick it in gear again. Um, now when I'm on the treadmill, I can listen and, uh, listen to some podcasts or some audio books, but I, I need that dry erase board probably start scribbling down some notes. Um, because I, like I said, typically I don't listen to the Tim Ferriss podcast on there because there's just so many notes. And I, like today, I actually emailed myself on my phone uh, real quick. I was like, that's a good idea. Let's just do it this way. Um, but the song, the one song thing, man, I feel like my hat's falling off. Um, the one song, I, I got an idea. There's a song out there that I really like by Boxcar Racer. And uh, it's slow then picks up it's a long song maybe this weekend uh oh and the other podcast tim ferris that i was listening to the other day he had on greg McEwen. uh he wrote essentialism and uh, he's got a new book out so that's why he's doing the podcast tour but um greg was talking about a philosophy that bj fogg teaches where after x i will y and uh, what he's been doing lately is, after I complain, I will say something I'm thankful for. And uh, the reason he's doing this is because you have so many good things happening, but you focus on something that isn't right. That's not good. So I, I, I like that idea. So if you catch yourself griping or complaining or just, mm, this isn't good, say something that you're thankful for immediately after it. So I'm gonna try. Greg McEwen, Essentialism. Very good book. New book coming out. I don't know how good that book is. Hat is slipping all over the place. Quote of the day. <laughs> if you wouldn't work with them for a lifetime, then don't work with them for five minutes. Okay, so it's not, you know, an inspirational quote today. Uh, that's Tim Ferriss paraphrasing 
Naval. Just putting it out there. Don't don't be wasting your time, you know? Put those important people in, in place and keep listening to them. Remember today, if you complain, say something good afterwards that you're thankful for. That's all I got. Tomorrow's Friday Eve. Make it a good day. See you then.